Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to talk about some um, skincare items I've bought from Face Theory. The main one that I think will be of interest is this one, the Sunfragma SPF 50. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Um, but I also bought some other things that I will talk about and give you a sort of first impressions review of all of these. You may remember that I had the old um, Sunfragma SPF that I don't believe they do now but it was a very oily mixture um, you know it came out oily you put it on and it wasn't too bad but it did it did feel very oily and it it worked okay under makeup for most of the day but then it would sometimes you'd feel it kind of breaking through and so this has been in it's been advertised for by them for a year at least and I've been eagerly waiting for it and I suddenly got um, an email you know the marketing email showing that this was available so I was right on top of that because it's really interesting this is Tinazorb S Juvenal A and it also has some zinc in it and it's SPF 50 it's £15.99 for this tube currently as I when I bought it, it was £12.99, it's on offer. Hopefully the offer's still on when this video comes up. Let me read you what they say about it. They say a silky, easily spread sunscreen for face and body. Mm, didn't know it was for body as well. Um, it combines a non-nano physical zinc oxide filter and UVA and UVB filters, Tinazorb S and Uvenal A. Uvenal A plus actually. Broad spectrum without causing sensitivity. Recommended for most skin types, including sensitive skin. Um, it's a creamy balm that goes on white and dries clear within a minute. Well, it's a kind of yellowy color, I feel like, not white. But um, yeah, it doesn't, it hasn't left any white cast on me at all. And that's how it goes on. Said it quickly absorbs, leaving a satiny sheen with minimal whitening and chalkiness. Formulated without alcohol, so it won't sting upon application. Um, there's a bit of sciencey stuff there, but it ends by saying it's a fast absorbing velvety balm that provides broad, broad spectrum SPF 50 while being kind to skin. So as I said, this is a first impressions review because I've only been using this for three days now, four days actually, if you include today. Today is my fourth day. I have it on underneath my makeup. Um, and I really like this. I really like this. It is still a little bit oily feeling and it said there that it has a satiny sheen. So I don't know whether you can see, let's see compared to the hand I didn't put it on. So you saw me rub it in there. Can you see the difference? It does feel oily going on. It doesn't feel greasy, it just it feels really, really hydrated and really, really oily. Which is weird because it doesn't look at all as if it's going to be oily, whereas the other one was quite obviously oily. But you put it on and I, I put it on and I thought, right, okay, let me give it like 30 seconds before I put any makeup on because otherwise my makeup's just going to slide around. Um, but 30 seconds later it was still there and I thought you know I think this is one that's going to take a while to sink in so I'm just going to go ahead and put my makeup on on top of it and actually my makeup went on perfectly on top of it so no worries at all it's just one of those that you feel like it's going to affect your makeup and it doesn't you know hopefully you can see today my foundation isn't affected at all um so so yeah, definitely a satiny sheen finish, but it doesn't seem to affect anything. It didn't break up my makeup at all. Actually, uh, probably about three or four hours after putting this on one of the days, I did think to myself, oh, I feel like I'm getting oil breakthrough, which I haven't had for a while. Let me have a look in the mirror. And, and there wasn't, it, it hadn't changed my makeup at all. It just kind of felt like that, you know. Fast absorbing, I wouldn't say it's fast absorbing. I have to say, I think, my, it hasn't felt like it's actually absorbed for quite a few minutes. You know, I don't think that it's fast absorbing, but it, it hasn't been an issue for me. Um, I think that's all there is to tell you about it. It is, it's really nice. It's definitely worth you trying. I think if you've got dry skin, you'll absolutely love the feel of this, you know, because it does, it feels like you're giving yourself a sort of hydrating primer. And like I said, the makeup looks really matte on top of it. So actually I think even if you've got oily skin, it'll be fine, but you might, you might not like the feeling of it if you've got oily skin, um, because, you know, obviously I have I had oily skin for many, many years where I would get breakthrough in my T-zone and so I had to avoid things like that. And I think if I had oily skin, I would still probably avoid this one. It would just, it would make me too nervous. It feels too oily, you know, um, but for dry or normal skin, I think that this would be great and sensitive skin, you know, there's no fragrances or anything like that in it. Um, and it's a really good price. And actually I have had this on in the bright, bright sunshine. And I have noticed a few of my sunscreens lately that I'm putting on, I'm getting freckles on my head. And although, you know, there's, unless you're completely not in the sun, you, you are likely to get some freckles, but I didn't used to get them 
when wearing sunscreen um, and certainly when I wear a high sunscreen at the minute I'm wearing an SPF 50 um, but it has with a few of the things I've been wearing I've been getting freckles even though I've only been in the bright sun for say five or ten minutes um, but when I had this on they didn't get any worse so you know because I've been checking them because I didn't it's not something that I don't particularly want to be covered in freckles and like I said it is um kind of a sign as to how well the SPF I'm using is working um, so it's a yes for me I'm going to continue using this and I will let you know in empties or if it turned out to be a fail I can't see it being a fail because it's not so far then it would be in the empties and fails as well um, then the next thing I bought was the super gel moisturizer it's an oil free it's a light hydrating gel with aloe vera green tea extract niacinamide and vitamin c um, I just thought this was really interesting because it's a gel and I thought it was something I could use as a night cream and I'm always intrigued to see you can see it's just a clear gel um, how if there are any gels out there that can feel moisturizing um, and I like the feeling of gels on my skin so um, I get this is another one that I love this one is £13.99 and again is um, unscented so really good value for money I think and a really nice product it says that it is for oily and acne prone skin that's kind of the the headline super gel oil free moisturizer m3 for oily and acne prone skin um, but actually my skin is on the dry side now although I do still occasionally have these oily breakouts in my um well oily breakouts on my chin and sort of oil oiliness in the t-zone um i have never found a gel that was moisturizing enough but this one really was i used it a couple of nights i've used it about four nights and the first couple of nights i just used this after cleansing i didn't use any actives or anything i always do that if i'm trying a new product just to see what does it feel like on its own and it was easily moisturizing enough my skin didn't feel tight at all um it took a little while to sink in it felt a little bit sticky after using it but once it did my skin felt lovely it didn't feel tight at all it felt really nice and hydrated so i really like that and conversely when i'm talking about the sunscreen i think if you've got oily skin you will really really enjoy this if you've got oily skin that can sometimes feel tight or you've got oily skin that maybe because of the products you're using for it your skin feels like dry and flaky i think you'd really enjoy this so i'm doing a bit of raving here and it's funny because i've done a face theory haul and review before and i don't think there was any that i was in love with you know they haven't i can't think of a face theory product that i have tried and then repurchased but this haul is the most successful one ever and i i really like all four of these products that i bought this next one is really interesting and it is the polypep collagen boosting serum um i kind of ignored the bit about collagen boosting but do you remember i said that the only thing i would use kind of around my eyes as my anti-aging would be peptides because i've really enjoyed using peptides they haven't made my eyes look worse um, and i'm interested to see how peptides work so this is a polypeptide i'm just going to read you a bit about this because that's probably the best way to not forget anything um, it is formulated with two percent chronoline a biometric peptide that can improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles in 28 days we'll see actually I, I'll, I'll note the date that i started using this um, and it's talking about a study on crow's feet and wrinkle measurement and how it helped a reduction in wrinkles um, another component of this is polyhydroxy acids i really like that as an ingredient so it's got gluconolactone and lactobionic acid um, they are a bit gentler than other acids uh, it's got green tea chamomile and centella asiatica um, it's a ver centilia centilla asiatica is an anti-inflammatory type of product um, it can also enhance type 1 collagen i don't know if that's actually been proven i keep meaning to put this ingredient centilla asiatica on my list to talk about because it's a really interesting one um, i don't know whether it's proven for to enhance collagen um, promotes the construction of fibroblasts thus expediting the synthesis of collagen i'm going to be really interested i could find research that said it did that um, free of parabens silicones pegs lc sls sles and mineral oils vegan and cruelty free this is another one that i am absolutely loving and i've had no reaction i've been using these three for the last four days and if my skin was going to react to anything in these it would have come up by now you know would have had those little lumps that i showed you in my in the video outside and i just love this it is a really thin 
serum so at first I was like oh no this is just going to feel like water because it's one that you can see there runs right the way down your hand but I've been putting it in my hands rubbing my hands together and sort of pressing it into my face and then smoothing it in and it is really lovely it just feels so super silky I have been putting it over my eyes and my eyes haven't been watering um I've been putting it on my neck my neck feels lovely it's something else that I want to use on my neck is peptides if I can um so yeah i i really like the ingredients in this i like everything about it and it i forgot to show you the price tonight it's 24.99 i think for this which is 30 mil 24 pound 99 for 30 mil but i'm really really enjoying it what i'll maybe do is come back and do a face theory empties that might be useful so i can talk about these four products when i've used them up and tell you what i think at that point the peptide that's in here is a fairly new one but you know it sounds promising so i would be happy to and might well buy the um matrixel from the ordinary and use that one morning and one night you know um because i've tried this underneath the super gel moisturizer and it sits really well underneath it as well um and i also used it underneath this and it was fine so um they all work well together there's no um pilling you know no balling up on the skin or anything i bought all these by myself by the way i think i have been sent something by face theory once it was the ocuwake eye cream which was really nice but just you know me and eye cream i'm just not patient enough to keep on using it my final purchase was a lip balm and it's this one here um you can see i have already dug into it um somebody might say I thought you didn't like jars and you're right I do prefer a lip balm that isn't in a jar as well but I'm not so concerned about getting bacteria on my lips I don't ever get like cold sores or anything like that I don't ever get anything on my lips so I'm not worried you know I've never had a spot on my lip for example that just doesn't happen so I'm not so worried about my lips it's more when I'm putting stuff on my face that I'm worried about jars um, but obviously I would prefer it to not have something in a pot but this I can see that this is that kind of formula it would be quite hard to squeeze out of a tube um, this is £10.99 and let me tell you what is in it and what they say they say that it is a hydrating vegan lip balm free of beeswax and petroleum um, it's made of raspberry seed extract extract raspberry seed oil and vitamin e um, helps hydrate cracked or chapped lips shea butter extract has a high concentration of antioxidants um, and there's something called gromwell root i've never heard of that it's been shown to suppress inflammation and re reduce stress reduce oxidative stress um, yeah that's pretty much it i really really like this this is not one that i have found that i put on and then five minutes later i need to put on again it's one that i can put on and that's me kind of done for quite some hours you know and then i'm like oh that really worked on my lips you know i can put a little bit more on i think sometimes i do think i'm addicted to lip balm but some of the the bad lip balms that i've had are ones where i put it on and literally five minutes later i'm like that's my, my lips will dry again and that hasn't happened with this at all and it's not too greasy that you know, I don't like lip oils I find lip oils are just too much and they sort of feel like they're bleeding around your lips so it doesn't disturb my lipstick too much you know if I've got lipstick I can put a little bit on top of it and it's not going to disturb it too much um so yeah it's really nice and hydrating really like that so I've been having that sitting in the living room next to me and using it at night I really really enjoy it that's everything that I bought from face theory um I know there was another SPF that you guys were interested in hearing about but it's in a jar I do really fancy it and I am tempted to get it um it's just the jar thing i know people will say we well, can wash your hands i wash my hands before i do my skincare in the morning of course i do but you still then it, there's still a bit of a risk there because i then go and undo my bag take the packaging out which i've touched the packaging before undo the lid i've touched the lid before but at least then what's in the tube is coming out pure you know it hasn't been touched before whereas if you're doing that with a jar so you know for example if this was a jar I'd wash my hands then go into my bag touch my bag take the jar out and then put my finger in it and any bacteria on my hand would go in there it would then be sitting there that's my issue and then the next time you use it you're putting more in and you're just building bacteria up you know I suppose you could say well how dirty can your hands be but I think we've all become a bit more aware of things like that with with um covid you know and I was always a bit funny about it anyway wasn't I but I am tempted to get it because it does sound really nice apart from it being in a jar um but let me know if there's any other products that you have tried and loved and let let us know if you've tried that other spf 50 i think it's called amil c whip um what's it like is it worth is it worth the jar packaging because i could always transfer it to one with a, a pump like a pump jar and see how i get on with that um 
and now I've really liked these I am tempted to buy more um, but a lot of their products have retinol in but anyway that's everything let me tell you what I've got on I have got on um, the Laura Mercier foundation the silk cream foundation in June is the color I think it's 3c1 something like that and it's funny because I've been thinking I didn't love it and wanted to use it up but I kept ignoring it and going, oh, I can't, no, I'm not going to use that today. It's just I have to be the exact right tan colour and it's a bit odd colour. I've put it on today and I love it. I really love how it looks today and I'm like, oh, blooming neck. Because <laughs> I've only got a couple more uses in it. But anyway, that's the foundation. On my eyes is that Natasha Denona 05 palette. I think I mentioned that recently, so I've used that a lot actually. Over the last couple of weeks I've been using it a lot and I really fancied a darker colour on my eyes today, so that's that's what that colour is. Um, on my cheeks is the NARS blush in Sin. Somebody mentioned to me that NARS is not cruelty free. I know that, but I do actually don't have that many blushes, but that's one of the ones that I have kept and you know I haven't recently purchased that. I've had that for years. Um, on my lips is the it's by Too Faced. It's a liquid lipstick called Holy Chic. And then on top, I put this lip gloss by Sosu. Um, these earrings, I haven't worn these for ages. I just thought, let me wear these and see what I think. Do I prefer these than wearing just a pair of hoops? Um, but these are very old. These are from H&M. Um, so that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.